December 1st, 2011. Last story. Middle East. Where is it going? Here you are. You got Syria. You got Iran being sanctioned by the European Union. You got Iraq. Deadly bombings. In the last eight days. You had Egypt. Over 30 people killed during the eight days of protesting and demonstration in Tamir Square and in Cairo and then the elections which 40% was being run by the Muslim Brotherhood Islamic group and then you got Tunisia and their problems. You had Libya, of course, and their leader finally got killed, Gaddafi. So, and also you had Lebanon and their debt crisis, they in debt. Jordan and their problems. Yemen. They still having protests and they still getting killed for it. So, where is it leading the Middle East? Oh yeah, of course, Bahrain, the resort of the Middle East, to relax. Even Saudi Arabia like to disrobe themselves just to relax out there. They having protests and they hating the king. They said, down with the king, down with the king. Saudi had their problems. So, where is Middle East being led to? There's an idea. Armageddon, preparing for Armageddon. When you got all those countries in the Middle East getting crazy or changing that they want to study war and they just want to break in into it anything goes battle war WWE special you know it's they preparing themselves for Armageddon and they know every trick in the book. Oh, bring in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Oh, yeah. It will be a free-for-all. They don't care what to do. They just do it. Fight for the right to be a martyr that Allah will praise you. I can see Allah now saying, I did that. I wrote the Quran to do that way. Or I wrote the Bible to do, have holy men to do it that way. Well, but it is in the scripture. Matthew 24, 7. Wars and rumors of wars. They're going to break out. And Middle East is just practicing on doing that. Because they that crazy. This is LTL. Tomorrow, eh, I might can relax. Who knows? But LTL, Editorial News for December 1st, 2011, Sunday. Like Judge Mill 
in boxing would say, let's get it on. Off. Oh.